Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me woke up back with some more Jigalia Lost. Today, we finally have info for the Halloween units and the fact that the ban next banner is uh, Gala Jigalia Remix. So today's video, we're going to be talking about this banner, the two new units, the two units that are returning that are Gala units that will be on the Gala Remix and some other stuff in between. So again, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like, comment about any of the things we talked about here, and you can subscribe to me if you want more Jigalia or stuff in general. I do other stuff too, if you want to check that out too. Ah, all right, so let's go in. That's probably the smoothest transition I've ever done. I'm just gonna appreciate myself a little bit there. Good job, me. <laughs> all right, let's go into it for real. Um, so the newly added limited uh, adventures, as everyone know or should have expected, is Halloween Melsa and Halloween Akasha, uh, who is a wind lance for Melsa and a water blade. I'm very happy that Akasha is water because she was previously a wind, and I was really afraid that they were about to add another uh, wind version of a five wind that already existed. Unfortunately, these pairings ended up getting a little bit of trouble, which we'll talk about later. Uh, this banner, of course, will feature um, Gala Alex and Gala Cassith. Those are the two Gala units. Um, but also in this limited banner, not on raid up, we will have Halloween Mim, Halloween Elisane, or Halloween Ellie, Halloween Lowen, Halloween Odetta, Halloween Althema, and Halloween Edward. <sighs> but they will be, of course, not featured. And let me see, this banner only lasts for a couple days, I think. I think it's three days. Um, and then hopefully when the three days are over, they'll just replace it with a regular Halloween banner. At least that's what you kind of hope that they're going to do. Um, yeah, here it is. Until October 15th, till the 18th. So, alright. So let's go into first Halloween Melsa. She is a wind spear. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, wind lance. I keep calling it a damn spear. A sylvan girl who dressed up as the living dead for Halloween. It would be hard to tell how gentle she usually is in this outfit. Save for how she is unable to hide her excitement about the upcoming festivals. Festivities. Uh, spooky Revival. Increase the entire team's strength by 25% for 15 seconds. Venom Bite deals wind damage to enemies directly ahead. Inflicts poison and lowers their poison resistance by 10% for 30 seconds. This resistance reduction will not stack, but changing direction is possible during the attack. HP 15%, wind HP 60% equals strength 4, uh, 6%. Um, Endurance of the Dead 2. Upon revival, the user will come back with 80% of their HP once per quest. Freeze resistance 100%. Poison equal team strength 10%. Buffs the entire team strength by 10% for 10 seconds upon successfully poisoning an enemy. After act activation, the ability will not activate again for 5 seconds. Okay. So, the first thing that I like about her, let's talk about the positives here. The first thing I like is I actually like Venom Bite. So, I don't know if and correct me if I'm wrong about this, the way resistance works in Dragalia is that you actually have a limited amount of things, a limited amount of times you can apply a resistance before the resistance becomes just 100%, 100. Meaning once you have enough stacks of poison, like after a while, like you'll be able to, you'll eventually give them so much that the resistance will be a pure 100% and you'll never be able to hit them with uh, poison again. So with this ability, it sounds like you can just use this because it doesn't say that you it can't stack. So that means the resistance, yeah, okay, it will, okay, it won't stack. Okay, good to know. Um, but it does, what I'm trying to figure out here is that when you do that, does that mean that it becomes 90% for the entirety of the fight? Meaning it's actually possible to get, because there's always been a hard limit to how much you could poison someone and then it's done. I wonder with this ability here, it actually means like, no, we can take that away from it. And that means poison will forever be possible as long as you have this skill available. Very interested to find that out. Of course, Spooky Revival, which is at any time you can get Team Strength buff is good. Now, here are the negatives. One, the last thing Wind needed was another unit like this. Um, if you don't know, Wind has a lot of units that are specifically Strength buff buffers who are also Lance units. Um, with the most known one is Lucas Friend, um, who I can't remember the name of, but he's a Sil Silvus? No, that's the name of the race. I forget the name. Let's just call him Joe. No, there's already a character named Joe. Luca Friend. LF. Okay, so there's an LF. Um, he's absolutely one of the best, um, buffers in the game in general, as long as you can get his mana spiral, that is. 
Uh, he's definitely one of the best. Um, I could definitely see uh, Melsa, because here's the thing, the other thing we don't know is how quickly she gets this skill back, and how quickly she gets this skill back. Because if both of them are pretty quick, I think that's going to make it so that she's actually still usable in some way. Here's the thing that also holds her back. Even though it's a little bit competitive, whatever, she's Melsa, you love... You would if she's waifu, you're gonna use her regardless. I'm gonna use her regardless. I don't have that guy. And even if I did have that guy, let me tell you right now, would I be using him? Hell no! I would be using her. <laughs> That's just the way I personally like to play. If you're someone who likes the, the pure offense, then you know you know who your dude you know who your your Huckleberry is in that situation. But here's the one thing that I think is actually legitimately kind of a negative is Endurance of the Dead 2. This only really works if you're starting out and learning the game. Um, especially since, like, this ability is just dead if there's no revival. So what... I, I honestly feel like, and I think this is warranted, you could send them feedback and say, this ability needs a buff. Because it's 100% useless in almost any situation that revival is not possible. It's different from like, okay, so freeze resistance is useful, useless if you're in a fight that doesn't inflict freeze. Yeah, that's useless. But this specific thing here is just so crazy to me for them to pigeonhole the unit and be like, well, you're just going to have one less ability. I think that's just... Mm. And for a limited Halloween unit who is just like a... Look at this. Look how fucking adorable this woman is. Look at this. People are going to use her. People want to use her. And I think it's not unfair to say like, hey, this specifically holds back the unit because it makes it feel like um, it's a Winnie Hunt general unit. But maybe I'm overreacting on this. Tell me how you feel about this because I really do think like, because I think in theory this is good, but this is like a, not in the current state of Dragalia. I don't think this is good in the current state of Dragalia. I also think if revival was not possible, I think that it should be changed that when she dies once, she comes back with 80% health. I think that's good. I think that would absolutely change it a lot, because that would mean that this character just has a, a free instant revive. Um, which would actually make her super user friendly, and then for some in game content, that would be also extremely helpful. Um, but maybe it'd be too powerful. But at that point, you could just change instead of 80%, she comes back with 50%. That's fair, right? I think that's fair. I don't think it'd be. I don't think it would personally. Compared to all the units out here who deal so much damage, I don't think that's game breaking. But tell me what you feel. Uh, I definitely want her. Don't let it be twisted that I don't, and I'm not going to use her because I'm going to 100% use her regardless of anything if I pull her, but just know that for some people, not looking, you know, better options, but I really feel like this, the combination of this ability, this ability right here is just going to make her good. I really hope it does anyway. Let's move on. Huh? We spent enough time on her. Let's go on to the next girl. Uh, we got Akasha, Halloween Akasha, um, Priestess from the Church of All, now dressed as a vampire. She, she, she seems almost childlike as she converts about the town, but sometimes shows a smile as bewitching as the full moon, as her heart empty, or is there something else? Uh, deal water damage to enemies in a line and reduce their defense by 3% for 10 seconds. Deal water damage to targeted nearby enemies and inflict bleeding. Strength 10%, increase the entire team's... yeah, 10%. Water HP 80% equals flame resistance 6%. Defense reduced equals... Death buff, death buff edge 2 increases the chance of inflicting debuffs by 50% for 5 seconds upon successfully reducing the enemy's defense. After activating this ability, it will not activate again for 5 seconds. Stun resistance 100%, bleeding equals HP recovery 2. Um, I really do think that, again, similar to how Melsa has the debuff thing, this ability here where it's 50% um, lowered for what? what is it, 5 seconds? In theory, enough time to inflict uh, with a downgrade of some kind. I think it would end up making her look solid. I think the problem with a lot of these, uh, the two Halloween units, is that they kind of look like okay at the moment. None of them are as good. At least, I don't think so. Based off of what I know now, I don't think either one of them are as good as Halloween Lowen, who has somehow, through trial and error, ended up being the best Halloween unit. Um, actually, I don't know about the buffs about the recent Halloween units. Uh, I haven't gotten the time to try them, but in my mind, it's always going to be Halloween Lowen because he's like, he doesn't require a spiral. He's just good right off the bat, but I digress. 
Um, I would really want her. I don't have a Blade Water. She does kind of share the same problem as Melsa in that she, Valerio and her share the same um, Blade type. But again, I don't have Valerio, so she has zero competition for me personally. And if I did have Valerio, if you're telling me the Chef Man is going to be used over the vampire woman then you don't know me very well this is just a personal preference right there though of course um liking our look a whole bunch i also like the art for both of these characters i think the art for both of them are just fantastic good job it's only two halloween units which is kind of a bummer to me personally but um i think they both do a perfectly good job and now let's get to the actual gala units that are on feature gal alex there's absolutely nothing i can say if you're starting the game off just completely new, Gala Alex and Ka Gala Cat Sif, you won't find a better pair. I think, the, uh, and this is going to get a little bit weird because th I'm going to invoke the name of the the DPS sim, which is its own weird machination. I don't think you should live uh, live and die by the DPS sim, by the way. I think you should take some print ideas from it and kind of experiment with it, but don't actually take the DPS chart as anything serious. Uh, that's my own personal thing creeping in once again i do think that the people there make do extremely hard work don't let me discount anything they're doing i think they're doing fantastic work and it's hard work as well something i could never do so um i'll respect to them of course but anyway um gala alex is absolutely one of the best shadow units there's no doubt in my mind one of the best gala units um yeah he's easily one of the top one of them i think after 2.0 gala mim might accidentally be one of the better ones but Gala Alex, Gala Cleo, Gala Mim will always be, well, Gala Alex and Gala um, Cleo will always be extremely good, no matter what, I think. And this would be a fantastic time. If you are starting out, this is a great banner to actually get both of them, because the, her her dragon and the dragon that most people in Shadow use is Cat Sif. Cat Sif is also great, there's no denying that, and it's kind of funny that they literally... Like, these two units, if you start out with them, you would be perfectly fine with skipping a bunch of banners because they're shadow and they can be used on any element you wish. So it kind of takes away a lot of the early game of going like, oh, I need multiple teams. It's like, well, no, I just need two good, very good shadow units. I need the, one of the best shadow units with one of the best shadow dragons, and you're perfectly good. And that's the Gala Remix. So hopefully when the remix ends, the Halloween banner will continue. At least I sure as hell hope so. Um... Right now, none of the Halloween units are jumping out at me as like amazing units, but both of them are extremely cute and I want both of them, so that's kind of my final say on it. Um, I'm very interested to see how that debuff stuff works. If you know of a unit that also inflicts debuff stuff, um, and you can like tell me how that works, that'd be fantastic, because I really... Maybe this is another... I feel like I usually say this where I'm like, I don't remember if someone does this, and then someone will be like, oh, you remember this person? I'm like, no. It's like, well, they do that. And I'm like, oh, shit, I completely forgot. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. As always, you can leave a like, you can comment, you can subscribe to me for some more. Till next time, everyone, have a spooky day. Bye.